Hey everyone, Metaphysical Mama. I am going to make some salmon and quinoa and asparagus. How is everyone? Please, if you would be so kind, like and subscribe and hit the little belly bell so that we can all stay connected. Just gonna put a little sea salt. I'm just gonna blab a few minutes while I'm cooking and share my meal with you. It's just some sea salt. And I think I'm about out of pepper, but I have a little bit of cracked black pepper to get on there. I'm going to turn this on, actually. Got a pretty nice little heat. And again, I'm cooking in a little teeny tiny hotel room, so you can always cook a good healthy meal in a tight space. Like, I even have, like, my cards jammed over here, my bookshelf. I'm, it's like a mini. It goes from one from one room to another a makeshift I'm gonna add a little more pepper because I love pepper if it comes out hey put a hole so I just was gonna discuss a little I don't know if anybody's heard of the Celestine prophecies it's a really cool book I read it a while back I have to go through my notes I actually like even wrote down like almost every note that was in that biatch because it was so good that book I have some tea here with some lovely fresh mint leaves I have this beautiful I'm scared to mint plant here from my beautiful friend M like mint. I don't know if she wants me to use her name, so I shall be respectful. We'll just say M. And this is so yummy. I'm relaxing. So I am gonna add just a very small amount of rosemary to my salmon. Just a little. Because I'm gonna glaze it with some balsamic. And I have some cherry tomatoes and some asparagus. And I'm just going to give this a nice little sear and then take it out. And then I'm going to cook my quinoa. I have red and plain quinoa. I'm limited on my amount here, so I'm not going to cook too much of it. And I'm just going to cut up a white onion. Um, put a little coconut oil in my pan. Because that takes a nice high heat. And the salmon likes that. I'm on my last drops. Uh, 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 uh. I had a little tad bit of water. Wow, wow, and, and oil. Clash of the Titans. <laughs> it's like how, um, was, uh, oh, and I'm going to also add some cannellini beans to the quinoa with the cherry tomatoes and the asparagus and the onion, and then put the salmon on top after, and it's going to be yummy, 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 and some avocado. So I was talking about the Celestine prophecies because I was just referring to, okay, there's like the devil's triangle. A lot of us are dealing with, uh, well, everybody's dealing with, right? What do we believe? What do we trust? What should we do? Do we get stuck in a rut, a little bit nervous of, right, what to um, put our faith into or our time and energy into? I think the best advice or suggestion I can give on that is stay creative and childlike, right? Use your imagination. I actually use this for garbage. And, um... You know, remember what you used to like to do when you were little, maybe as a child, right? Did you like to draw? Did you like to write music or poetry? 
Hold on one sec. I have a call and I have to answer it. Please don't mind. Hello. Um, yeah, you can grab some if you, if, if you want some. Yeah, that'd be great. I'll just send quinoa or, or kamut or something for like tomorrow or so. Or tortillas. Or no, no, no. That's fine. I can go tomorrow. That's good just for tonight. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it for now. That's great. Perfect. Okay, thank you, buddy. Talk to you soon. Okay, that nice sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. So, dealing with, you know, thinking too much, coming out of our, you know, uh, thinking process of what the, what we have to do, what we think we're supposed to do, due to, right? That's how we've been taught. That's what we've been told. Um, and then we also have, you know, the, say, tricksters, um, or, and which is really just, first of all, people are there to help us learn. Second of all, anybody that is, uh, you know, lying or tricking or paying for spell work or what the fuck ever, um, you know, they're just scared. <laughs> Right to face their own demons and shadow selves, etc. So, you know, to again come childlike and recognize that they're, you know, adult children too, or you know, sometimes too. <laughs> a lot of the time, most of us, we've been holding up a position or the weight of something for so long. We could use President Trump as an example as president or a father. Right, working for so long, um, and upholding a household or and a mother, single mother, right? How many of us are single that have had to right take care of our kids, plus hold a job, plus take care of animals, dogs and cats, and homework and school and yard work and laundry and grocery shopping and dinner and cooking and nobody wants to eat the dinner we cooked and all the stuff we just paid for at the grocery store, running around like maniacs. <laughs> Hopefully. Many of you are coming out of that now, too, because part of the virus, it could be looked at and, you know, to c crush Corona, right? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. So in order to combat whatever gets thrown at us, it's like, right? Okay, well, if I have children, it's like, all right, right? We have to be the calm in a storm. So what are we going to do to be creative with? And is it true or not? If it makes you go, hmm... Right? It might be partially true, like partial. Better to see you with, my dear. Right? <laughs> um, so, you know, it's important to go through our thoughts and our feelings when we're feeling like something doesn't quite sound completely right. And... Are we being tricked because people are really trying to trick us? Or are we just believing what's being put out there because we're so used to just putting the TV on or the radio? Or I'm sure if you're on here, that's not what we do. But some of us, yeah, still. So if that's the case, then, right, where are you getting your information from? We have to question that as well. Question everything. Right? Things that we used to think when we were little or, you know, things that, like, we just followed but we weren't really sure and we were wondering why we were being told certain things or remembering how you use your imagination. We've always spoken with God, right? Or spirit or, um, you know, maybe say extraterrestrials or angels or fairies and gnomes and oh, I dropped a little roly-poly one off there 
um, you know, there's so many different, I'm just going to grab some Wawa, and did I have to do anything else? I don't think so. One second. 